integral part of 41 divided by 6. I type uh, the numbers using the joystick and then press uh, a key I assigned to enter on this joystick. Um, uh, this is 7, so I should, uh, you know, should go up here. Yeah. Um, so I have here uh, one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. And the, the directions here are the same as on the ZX Spectrum or ZX81. Um, here now, eight times three should be. So then we have uh, one. Um, this is arithmetic program that trains uh, mental calculation. Uh, it should be five here. And uh, six. We have a zero here. Now we have the last problem here, uh, five. Right, good, well done. And then it shows that for some time and then it gets back here. And uh, So here you can train different things, and uh, I should say here uh, one, and then uh, this, and then division was checked now, and then I can say six, then I remove that uh, star there, and I can uh, choose some other thing I want to train, for instance, five. And then you can uh, train that, and you start with zero here. Um, in order to use this joystick to type keys, I use the CJM5. It probably means Commodore joystick map is for the E64 Mini. And now I should say 15 here. But I could also use the screen keyboard here. And then uh, I can type 10 here. So, but that is a bit slower. And uh, see here now, and then you press enter like that here. So this also works. Now this was zero here. And, uh, so, uh, uh, okay, I should, uh, I've made a rather accurate program. Uh, I should see here, I can escape here now by typing minus one. Um, there we have one. Oop. Then, then I go to the level above. And then I can also show, uh, for instance, uh, I could close that and use this instead.
for instance, about here. That shows the about box about this program. Uh, it went from 92 to 2018. Then I could show help. There is not so much help. But it shows where you can get the other programs, Arithm programs, on arithmorbin.se. Then we could uh, exit this. Because I have a more extensive video about this program written for another old computer, Transom Triton 1978. And that runs here on this video here. Um, so you can watch that. I give a link to that in the description. Then we could type 5 here. Because uh, I wrote uh, <coughs> this in uh, Commodore Basic now, but then I translated it from a, uh, a GV Basic program. So here you see uh, some int and div, mod percent and div, and those uh, were uh, defined functions in. Uh, GB basic because that has uh, uh, functions of several variables. Uh, the defined functions in uh, uh, Commodore 64 basic, uh, that's basic 2 from Commodore, uh, that only has uh, uh, one variable functions. And I couldn't use that here, so I had to rewrite that using uh, go sub and set x and y variables before instead of using function. Then I had to update the program in many different lines compared to the GUI basic program. And another difficulty here was uh, that numbers uh, print with a space after in. Uh, or basic when you concatenate strings and uh, then I had to convert them to strings first and then sometimes I had to remove the first character of the number because that is space or minus sign and uh, that was to make it more uh, compact and be able to type into the corners and things like that into the so, uh, yes, here you see the program. I'm pressing down control now because that slows down the listing. And then also input was a bit difficult because that types a question mark here. So I had to input from a file. And uh, then you can redirect uh, from keyboard to a file and uh, read from that. And then it doesn't type to the screen. So that was another trick I looked up. And then I have sound also here. I've not demonstrated that. But uh, and then delay time here is probably for the US version, but it's not so much different in time here. It doesn't because I pause different length and then I use the timer function of the Commodore 64. And I used a similar function in uh, GW Basic. And also in the other tiny basic that I used before. Because this program is uh, I developed it for tiny basic and then for GW basic and then for Commodore basic. But before I developed it for tiny basic I developed it for uh, it was for T82 and T83 and T84 and those. So uh, here is the uh, program here then that uh, you can look that up later if you want to. Maybe you don't see that here because it's too white. But uh, it's there, this program. Oh, this, 
and it also is possible to run this on Casio calculators. Um, so, and you can run it in a web browser in uh, Java uh, inside the. But and then I have uh, tried to translate it to JavaScript now also. Uh, so uh, okay, so um, okay. So here was the version then for the that that was kind of the original in basic but then before that I developed it in Java and before that in C uh, and I did this because I uh, taught student uh, mathematics I didn't know these useful tables and uh, then they could use this program to train themselves and that worked very well I think uh, because I mean uh, this program uh, it uh, asks questions and, and then all uh, useful numbers are tested so uh, we should see here so if I kind of see here now then we could say uh, one here now I use a keyboard then uh, can say uh, you just take the addition here that is written but you can combine these uh, ed exercises and uh, here on the Commodore 64 it's rather slow to generate the problems and shuffling but then uh, when you start it's no problem so here uh, this should be 14 but if I type wrong here now for instance then you hear a sound. It was a very low sound. Uh, maybe I could uh, increase it. I've connected that uh, output here from this VGA connector. It's connected to this speakers in this screen here. Um, so I could tap a new error here. So that was some sound effect I found uh, on a, when I browsed for sound effects in basic. Then you can type correctly here. Then I think it's sounded. Um, yes, yeah, so you can mix the problems if you want to. But uh, you can see that in the other video where I show more about this program. And now I just wanted to show another Thing here and that was uh, an idea I had here that you could uh, connect uh, a serial port to the uh, the C64 mini and then you could connect that serial port to uh, for instance a real C64 or a modem that might work if they have drivers and uh, this was connected to the uh, uh, user port, uh, the simulated user port in uh, VICE 2.4 because C64 Mini seems to use VICE 2.4. And um, when I developed this uh, arithm program for C64, I used uh, WinVICE 2.4 x64 and then I wrote the program because I converted it from uh, this uh, from this GV basic here and uh, 
well, you can look at that if you want to. And that, uh, uh, I converted from that, so I used petcat because that can convert from text files to uh, Commodore 64 program files. They tokenize basic that can be executed on Commodore 64. And then I used uh, another program called uh, C1541 that is used to make uh, a diskette. So I used that to make a diskette. Because I thought it was good to have the program on a diskette if I want to save uh, results, for instance, in the future. But right now you can uh, use the ordinary save functions of the uh, C64 Mini. So here I saved some games here before. So this function works there. Uh, yeah, and then down here I run uh, a Kamal here. Not sure you can see this, but but I thought I was going to do some video about this command later on, and uh, this is uh, running on the actual Commodore 64 that I have here, Model C. But I can run that inside here too, that I've showed in a different video. Um, Yes, so there is a D64 file for this that I will link to in the description of this video. So you can uh, play with this program and uh, teach yourself these useful tables or your children or some other people, students or whatever. And uh, yeah, and, and also it made this special. Uh, file here for uh, uh, the C64, this CGM file, and that's also, you can download that too. Okay, that's all for now. Bye.